This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, September 27, 2023. Welcome to News Trail. I am Maditola Coyote. Labor unions in Nigeria have called for an indefinite strike starting from October 3, 2023, following what he called failure of government to successfully implement policies to alleviate the sufferings of Nigerians coming from the removal of the subsidy on premium Mauto Spirit PMS. The Nigeria Labor Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC have advised Nigerians to stockpile foodstuffs because the strike would shut down economic activities in the country. Presidents of both unions, Joe Ajero and Festus Osifo, made this known after the National Executive Council emergency meetings. Among other things, the NLC and TUC are asking for wage awards, implementation of palliatives, tax exemptions and allowances to public sector workers and a review of the minimum wage after Labour said government has not addressed any of their demands. Sixty-six-year-old Michael Olayemi Kadoso has officially begun his tenure as the 12th Central Bank of Nigeria CBN governor after the Senate confirmed his appointment and that of four other deputies. Before their confirmation, the nominees had answered questions on matters relating to economic and other policies. Kadoso promised to provide transparent and focused leadership with full adherence to the rules that returned the Apex Bank to its core monetary policy responsibility. He also pledged to work in synergy with the physical authorities in the overall interest of the economy in the short and medium term. Kadoso was a former chairman of Citibank and one-time commissioner for budget and economic planning in Lagos. The deputy governors are M. M. Usoro, Mohamed Sani, Abdullahi Datijo, Philip Ikiazo, and Bala Bailu. A New York judge has ruled that former U.S. President Donald Trump repeatedly misrepresented his wealth by hundreds of millions of dollars to banks and insurers. The decision resolves key claim made by New York's Attorney General in a civil lawsuit against the former president. This is a major blow for Mr. Trump before the case goes to trial next Monday. Trump's attorney called the judge's decision a miscarriage of justice. Attorney General Letitia James sued Trump last September, accusing him, his two adult sons, and the Trump organization of lying about his net worth and asset values between 2011 and 2021. Ms. James claimed the defendant's issued false business records and financial statements in order to get better terms on bank loans and insurance deals and to pay less tax. The non-jury trial is scheduled to begin October 2nd and last until at least December. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel new trail and always remember to be there for others and never leave yourself behind while at it thank you for watching have a fantastic day